You see a lot of people in the crowd, but who do you notice and why did you pick out one face and not the other? In a study published in the medical journal Nature Human Behavior by Professor Ran Hussain, a member of the psychology department at the Hebrew University in Jerusalem, HUJI, concluded that dominant and threatening traits or what your brain will register first in such a situation. We wanted to know what are the things that you can versus cannot do unconsciously. And once we map that, maybe we can start tapping, I think, one of the last mysteries of, of cognitive sciences, which is why do we have the consciousness that we have? What, what does it do for us? 174 people participated in a set of experiments. They sat in front of computers and were given 300 sets of rapidly changing images. Under these geometrical shapes were varying images of human faces. When a participant recognized a human face, they were asked to press a key on the keyboard in front of them. Stroke on the keyboard were dimensions that signified power and dominance. Faces that have wider jaws, more protruding uh, eyebrows, bigger faces, wider faces, um, with uh, stronger facial features. So when we go down the street, we can tell immediately, very, very quickly, who's a dominant or threatening uh, face and who has a more um, you know, amenable and uh, friendly face. It is clear that different settings lead our unconscious mind to bring forward different types of faces. The experiment is basically an attempt to map the algorithm within the human mind. What we know for now is how we prioritize faces in the crowd. One step closer to understanding how our intricate mind works.